I want you to put your hands together for the one, the only Bishop Carlton Pearson. I tell you what the Lord has done for me, but it, he's done so much for me. It would take all night long to tell you. Some of you can remember that there are a lot of things you won't forget that he did for you, but there's still a lot of things the Lord took you through that you don't even understand. There was a little old lady, little old church mother named Mother Sherman. She was what we call a district missionary. She was the church mother of our church, the Jackson Memorial Church of God in Christ in San Diego, California. She went to heaven when she was 101, I think. And she was a, such a sweet little darling. She was about four. She looked like she was about four, three. And, uh, but a powerful preaching woman. And when I was a little boy, she used to say to me, she heard I was saved. I got saved when I was about four or five years old. And they heard about this little Pearson boy that was saved. And she'd always come up to me and said, son, you yet holding on? And I said, yes, ma'am, I'm yet holding on. She said, well, keep on keeping on then, baby. She said that all the time. Every time I said, you getting holding on, them old missionaries always gonna th thought she was going to backslide between Sundays, you know. <laughs> you yet holding on? And I said, yes, ma'am. She said, well, keep on holding on, baby. And she'd give me a nickel. And then when I get a little older, she gave me a dime. You yet holding on? I said, yes, Mother Sherman, I'm yet holding on. You keep on keeping on, baby. She gave me a quarter. By the time I got ready to go to college, she was up to a dollar. <laughs> I remember I came back from my freshman college year here at Oral Roberts University and I saw Mother Sherman. She said, baby, you yet holding on? I said, yes, ma'am, I'm yet holding on. She said, well, you keep on keeping on then, baby. She never did get above a dollar. She stayed at that dollar. But the last time I saw her alive, Mr. Morton, she was in a nursing home. And my godmother took me out to see her. She had lost her teeth. She, she, they couldn't find her teeth. She couldn't remember who I was. Our pastor, Bishop J.A. Blake, whose son Charles will be preaching in a little bit, Charles Blake. Bishop Blake had gone to heaven. And Mother Sherman didn't know it yet. She couldn't remember the name of our church. And it kind of broke my heart. And I said, Mother Sherman, she said, what is it, baby? I said, you remember me? She looked, she said, how long we would do? I said, where's your teeth, Mother? She said, I don't know. They done lost them. <laughs> I said, well, I'm Carlton Pearson. And you used to encourage me a lot, Mother, when, when, uh, you, when I went to church. You was always telling me to, to keep on keeping on. I, said, I've been, I was saved when I was a little boy, and your ministry has blessed me over the years. She said, oh, it, it did. I said, yeah, well, you were so sweet. She said, that's what you were sweet. She said, you get holding on? <laughs> I said, yes, ma'am, I'm yet holding on. She said, well, then you just keep on keeping on, baby. I said, well, I'm going to go, Mother Sherman. I just want to love you and pray for you. But there's one little song I wanted to sing for you before we, before we leave. And now, she couldn't remember the name of the church. She couldn't remember my name. She couldn't even remember our pastor, Bishop Blake. But I, I, I said, this, I sang this song. By and by, when the morning comes. Understood it, but as soon as I started singing, she started moving a little head. I and mean, I, I never did know the verse, but I sang it through one time. Then she said, She looked at me, she said, They'd been making noise in that nursing home. She said, But it ain't our kind of noise. <laughs> we'll understand it better. I said, Bye and bye, mother. She went like this Oh, bye and bye. When the morning come, come on. Oh, the thing of God. On the 
restless seas of time Somber skies and howling tempests Off the sea to bright sunshine In that land of perfect day When the mists have rolled away We will understand it better than Understand it better, by and by. It's the by and by part that we're all waiting for. What's going to happen down the road? We don't know about anything. We trust God, the ultimate source and force in our lives, that everything will ultimately come out all right. I remember the first time I sang with Aretha Franklin in at the uh, um, Radio City Music Hall. We were texting back and forth uh, about what we. She loved the song "Farther Along." And she thought it was father alone will know all about it. And she texts me back after I text her the list of songs and I put father along. She said, for 50 years, I thought it was father alone. I said, well, it is father alone, but it's not that he will know all about it. God does know father along. We will. She says that makes sense. She'd been singing it wrong all these years and singing it right at the same time. The late, great Aretha Franklin. I loved her dearly. And of course, we love Mother Sherman. That's sort of like a belated Happy Mother's Day. Mother Sherman's words stick with me to this day. Keep on keeping on, baby. And we're saying that to you and to the whole world. Let's just keep on keeping on. We'll understand it better by and by. Farther along, we'll know all about it. Farther along, we'll understand why. Cheer up, my brother, sister. Live in the sunshine. We'll understand it all by and by. Thank you, Mother Sherman. Thank you, all the mothers who do all the wonderful work. Uh, of the Lord, and you help us and nurture us and love us and pre prayed out churches, preached out churches, fast out churches. We'll never stop celebrating women and never stop celebrating our mothers. The next song we're going to present is a song written by my friend Carmen, and it's sung though by the one and only Donnie McCurkin. It's a song titled, I Will Serve the Lord. I've recorded this as well. It's one of the best songs Carmen has ever written. Donnie rarely does somebody else's song with their track, but he actually is singing Carmen's song with Carmen's track. We honor Carmen, we honored uh, Donnie. And regardless of what happens, we will serve God with all our hearts. I believe in God, the Father, Jesus Christ, His Son, and the precious Holy Spirit, distinct but three in one. I believe there is forgiveness for everything we've done. That is why all the more I will serve Him. I believe 
Savior Jesus was crucified one day upon a tree they laid him in a borrowed tomb not far from Calvary I believe that Jesus rose again alive for all to see that is why all the more I will serve him I have made my decision I have stayed to my plan I have drawn a line in the sand and I won't be ashamed with the world behind me and the cross before by the grace of God I will serve the Lord I believe we must be born again John 3, 16 is true. The old man can be washed away. Everything that new. I believe the love of God can somehow find its way to you. That is why all oh, the more I will serve him. I have made my decision. I have stayed my plan. I have drawn a line in the sand and will not be ashamed with the world behind me and the cross before by the grace of God I will serve the Lord and I know when Satan and his demons come to torment me I can call us all away until then there's just one name on earth where thy men can be saved I believe there is a right and wrong a time to live and die <laughs> and the Bible is the blueprint that all men must live by I believe I'm not alone tonight in my faith in Jesus Christ That is why For the more I will serve Him We will serve Him tonight Hey We have made our decision We have stayed Our claim We have gone In the sun We will serve Him No I will serve you. Experience is not only what happens to you or me or us, it is what we do with what happens to us. We're going through a pandemic storm in America and really all over the world today with this virus, this coronavirus. And people don't know what to do. So that's why we're just ministering to you. We don't have the answers for the future. We just know that we'll be there and God will be with us. And uh, in 1993, I think that may have been the first time we had Yolanda Adams at Azusa. I've loved her and known her all these years. 
and sang this song that she's going to sing all over the country. It's one of my favorites. I think she wrote it. And uh, it, it's powerful. And we're all going through a storm right now, personally, collectively, nationally, internationally. It's actually storming tonight in, in, in Tulsa. There's been rain and sun, thunderstorms all week, spring storms. We're used to storms. We're all used to storms. This one is a little different. So we just need to huddle closer together, love one another, love God, love ourselves, trust that God will get us through this storm always has, always does, and always will. The one and only, and I love her like a sister, Yolanda Adams singing one of my favorites and probably yours too, Through the Storm. Boy, is it anointed. The storms of life will blow. There should have come and go. They meet me at a time.
second minister of music for Higher Dimensions Ministries here in Tulsa was Gary Oliver. He came to us. I don't even know where he, how I found him, but his voice, his charm, his anointing, his praise and worship energy was great for us for the years that he was here. And now he's a Bishop Gary Oliver. He pastors in Dallas, Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth area and travels all over. But he sang for us and uh, people love his music and love him still to this day, so do I. The Greek word for glory is doxa. And it really means figuratively clarity the clarity or clearness or light or illumination of God. And Gary Oliver wrote a song titled, Let Your Glory Fill This Place. And that was the theme of the conference that year. Lord, show us your glory. I guess more than any other time in recent history, we're asking for clarity, for light, for illumination, for enlightenment. And as Gary sings this song under the anointing that only Gary Oliver can produce on his music, it's just so special. Let clarity embrace your spirit, however dark and dingy or cloudy it may seem. Let clarity, the clearness of God, the purity of your faith in God, fill your heart in your home, in your life. And let's pray that more of this glory will fill this world. Gary Oliver. things above you're enthroned on the praises in the depths of my soul and as your fragrance fills me up Lord I pray it overflows and let your glory Let your glory fill this place. Lord, our hearts are prepared for you. And your love we have embraced. Now, Holy Spirit, take control. Let this place be your abode. And let your glory. This place. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now let the wind of your spirit let it rush into this place. And Lord, let cloven tongues of fire begin to set upon each face for the train of your garments my temple they are filled and I cry holy 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 as your glory is
Lord, let it fill this place. Let your hands to Jesus. Let your glory fill this place, Lord. Let your glory fill every heart, Lord. Let it fill our hearts, Lord. Let your glory fill this place. And now one of the favorites, one of my personal favorites, because the two mothers that raised me and uh, my grandmother died when I was only 10 years old. She was my goddess. But I had a godmother and she, we lost her five years ago, Bishop Anna B. Campbell. She pretty much was the one that filled in every gap in my life. She taught me, she trained me, she loved me, she believed in me, she was my number one cheerleader. She and Dad Vaughn used to lead the prayer in the Azusa meetings, prayer in the morning, the, the morning glory. She was such a huge part of my life and still is. And she and Mom graced the conference. I called them, they didn't know I was gonna call them up, just right in the middle of the, the old songs medley. Uh, I brought them forward. Godmother, of course, gets happy and quickens, and these are things I have forever. It's interesting how John Powell used to say that the anointing has eternal shelf life. You could feel the anointing on these old tapes, and they're 15 years old, some of them, or older. But you can go back and hear an old sermon, an old prayer. It's like Bishop Mason's prayer. You still feel the anointing on that prayer, and it was prayed probably 60 years ago or more. God in Jesus Christ tonight rebuke the day of evil and cast the devils out of the minds of all. We're here in the name of Jesus and we're glad to be here. We're thankful to God for his favor shown to us and we're glad for his grace that's abounding. Let your will go up. Some of you are amen. Lift your hand. You there in the hospital, you yonder in your home today that are sick and afflicted, lift up your hands. Glorify God and say, Lord, help me deliver my soul. Cast the devil out of my mind and rebuke death. I beseech thee as my savior. Cast the devil out of my mind. Loose me here tonight. Loose me. Loose others. Loose death. God with you, death. The devil's recovered. You know Jesus God's gift tonight. If you can, loose me. Loose God, little ones. Loose the day of evil. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The coming of the Lord, the gift of God tonight, renew the spirits of his little ones here. And give deliverance to all waiting, waiting tonight. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you for your greatness and great love shown. Yes, Lord. 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 The anointing does have eternal shelf life, and you're going to feel it as these two precious mothers join me on the stage in Azusa. We shout and have a great time, and you will too.
Somebody said my soul gets happy Just talking about the Lord Yeah 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 Yeah, yeah. Most of the people we had at Azusa were not just Christian celebrities and artists I had personal relationships with a lot of them. Daryl Coley is one that I loved. I actually got to help eulogize him. He's singing a song that Alvin, one of our minister musics, wrote titled, In the Arms of Jesus. Alvin wanted Daryl to sing it, and I do too. And Daryl sang it like nobody else could have sang it. I don't think no, no one else ever will sing it quite like Daryl Coley. He is in the arms of Jesus to be absent from the body, to be present with the Lord. That's what we've been taught and taught all of our lives. And so he's singing this in Azusa Live. Karen uh, Clark, I think, was still there that night, uh, was, was on the stage that night, and she sang, and the place was filled, and the glory of God was there. And I want you to remember, through all that you're experiencing, I came to just remind the saints of the hope, and that's all of us, owned and possessed by God, that you are resting securely in the arms of Yeshua. Jesus, Joshua, bless you. There is a place I long to be in my Savior's embrace.
at his right hand are pleasures forevermore. There is no place that I'd rather be than in the arms of Jesus, my
on, just wrap your arms around yourself like this. Say, I'm in his arms tonight. Said, I'm in his arms tonight. I'm safe. I'm so safe. In the arms of Jesus. Don't you just feel like a little baby sometimes just crawling up in his lap? And... In the arms of Jesus. Say, Lord, I don't know what else to do. I don't know where else to go. I don't know what else to say. I, I just have to crawl up in your arms. Lord, you take care of it. Everybody just wave your hand to the Lord Jesus and say, I'm in your arms, Lord Jesus. In your arms. In the arms of Jesus. You are my everything. And I lean on you, Jesus. In the arms. Yes, Lord. In the arms of Jesus. In the arms of Jesus. You gotta give up everything and yield your whole soul and mind and body of Jesus. In the arms of safety. In the arms of Jesus. And oh, 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 oh. In the arms. In the arms of Jesus. I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe. Everything's all right in the arms of Jesus. Jesus, my You are my everything, and I put all my trust in you. Wonderful Jesus, you are my king. In the arms of my King. Come on, love him, love him, love him, love him, love him. Come on, let's love him with all of our hearts. As I said earlier, I have personal relations with a lot of the people who came to the conference and sang, both preachers and ministers of music. Andre Crouch is an icon. He is one of the first people in Pentecost to take the gospel sound and the gospel songs to the rest of the world. He became globally recognized. People still to this day in Japan and parts of Asia love Andre Crouch, sing his music, learn to sing by listening to him. I know his sister Sandra, his parents, by second or third revival, was preached in his dad, Benjamin Crouch's uh, church in uh, Pomona, California. And their, their bishop, S.M. Crouch, was the state bishop of Southern California, of all of California for years until he expired. And they split the state, of course, prior to that. And Bishop Hamilton had Northern California. That's Yvette Flunders, Bishop Yvette Flunders' grandfather. So the, 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 the lineage and the lineage, the line and, and the linen, I should say, or the line between all of us is a very, very th a strong thread that makes who we are today. So you're gonna now hear Andre sing the song that millions of people have sang all over the world. Many don't even know he wrote it. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. David said it in the scripture. Andre put it to music. His dad laid hands on him when he was a teenager and Andre learned to play the piano, never taking a music lesson in his life. He got that anointing from his dad. And when you hear him play and hear him sing, if you've ever heard him play, uh, when you hear him sing, that came from, from his dad transferring that to him prayerfully when they were just starting a little church. The stories are amazing behind a lot of this. But this is a man I love. We went to his memorial service, loved Andre, loved Sandra, loved the Crouch family, and loved this song, and you will too. You're alive at Azusa. Remember the hope in trusting God, blessing through it all. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh my soul. 
Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and forget not his benefits. Ha, lift your hand, oh, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh, my soul, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh, my soul, oh, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh, my soul. And forget not, and forget not, he's been a... Sing it again, sing it again. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. With everything within me, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. When the tears are screaming now, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And forget not his benefits. This is holy name. Now you know the next part. I can stand and tell you he has done great things. I said, he has done great things. But the prison has he done great things? Great things. The Lord has done. Look back over your life. Look where you are now and where you were. Look where his books are from. He's done great things. The Lord has done. The Lord has done. Bless his holy Bless his holy Go back to the first one. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh. Bless the Lord. Somebody said, what are his benefits? Peace. Joy. Joy. Love. Love. Forgiveness. Redemption. Deliverance. Deliverance. Healing. Deliverance. Woo. Joy. 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 I speak about joy. I can't forget it. I can't forget it. I can't forget it. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Joy in the midst of sorrow. Oh, my soul. I know what I'm singing about tonight. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. His name is holy. His name is holy. His name is worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Of all the praise. Of all the praise. Not our three cups. Not Pastor Carlton. 
God, no evangelist, not no missionary, no singer, but he's worthy of all the praise. I said he's worthy of all. Bless his holy name. For he is holy. Holy is holy. Everyone just sing holy. music of compliment, let's let the voices just worship him by saying, Holy, he is holy. Hallelujah, come on. Get you out of a situation if you praise him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise will get you out of a situation. Praise will heal your body. Hallelujah. Worship him. He is holy. He's holy. Let your voice to swell. Let's praise it for a minute. Come on, come on. Everybody, hallelujah. 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 If you don't feel like it, magnify the Lord with me. Do it with me. If you don't feel like it, magnify the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you brought me for. Thank you for what you've done for me. I worship your holy name. Your holy name. Your glorious name. Thank you, Jesus. I want to close by saying thanks to those of you, not large numbers, but some of you are donating toward what we do. We produce this. It takes time. It takes energy. And it costs money. So thank you for supporting the ministry. And no gift is too large. No gift is too small. Five, ten, twenty. Somebody sends a hundred. Several sent a hundred dollars last week. Thank you so much. I hope you'll continue to do that. We're going to be here for the next several weeks. And later on, we're going to bring some of the preaching of Azusa. We're editing excerpts. It takes a lot of time and work to do that. But we want to minister to you in these kinds of hour-long, power-packed um, experiences of Holy Ghost. Good old-fashioned, classical Pentecostal Holy Ghost anointing that really breaks, it doesn't just set you free, it breaks the, the yoke of bondage. And uh, I feel that a whole lot of bondage is being broken across the country right now through these wonderful experiences. My deep roots, spiritual roots in classical Pentecostalism, the transcendence of that experience informed me and has informed my present radical inclusion or my expanded consciousness. I so believe in the power of transcendence and that only comes through spirituality. The songs that we sang and play for you are songs that really remind us of the hope that we had as people who were desperate in this country and in this culture for decades and centuries. Particularly the African American church, it carried us through so much. My four generations of we Pearsons on both sides were classical Pentecostals. And so I so cherish these moments, and I hope you do too. 
We were crying out that the song we're going to end with today is a song written by my, honestly, one of my closest, dearest, most cherished friends on the planet, David Smith. He's been with me for probably 25 years. He's been a minister of music. He's produced a lot of these Azusa albums. The song you're going to hear tonight is a song he wrote titled We Cry Out. And it's very appropriate because right now, as the scripture says, in my distress, I cried unto the Lord and he heard me. I learned that stuff from my dad and my mom and their dads and their moms. We do know how to get a prayer through. <laughs> we know how to, I mean, I love meditation. I love yoga. I love transcendental meditation. I see all of it in Pentecost. We would shout and jump and we'd find positions, but we'd find uh, an access to another world. And that's what I'm encouraging you to do. And that's why I'm playing these tapes for you. We cry out in my distress, in the stretch and stress and duress of this present situation in America and the world. We cry out to the only Lord we know. However you title your Lord or experience your Lord, this is a time to cry out to the God of your own understanding. So I feel that good old fashioned roots. I don't think I would have even stayed in the church all these years. It was that powerful, almost magical energy that I felt as a five, six, seven year old kid that kept me fascinated with church and interested in church because church was not just an expression, it was an experience. And I hope tonight you have felt and experienced yourself at a higher level of consciousness, of awareness, of spirituality, of transcendence. This song was produced on the very last album that we uh, produced as, as, uh, as a, uh, at our last Azusa conference. It was never released because bookstores stopped selling my stuff once they heard of inclusion. They, they weren't even sure what it was. They just stopped selling my music. So this one, Integrity Music never put it out. Somebody has sort of bootlegged it. But David wrote the song, he did the album. He has never complained about not having it released to the world. I'm happy to be able to, to do it tonight. Of him at the organ, nobody can sit on an organ and take you where David Smith takes you. His father, Bishop Robert Smith, was one of the first Church of God in Christ bishops to transition, to make his transition as a result of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. He was preaching at the workers' meeting with Bishop, uh, the beloved Bishop Brooks in Detroit. He was his first assistant. He was facilitating the meeting, preached that Wednesday night, and was in heaven a week later. So I want to honor him. He used to come by my house, bring Mother Smith. I fed them here at my home cooked meals. Every time they came to town, I got to see them. They came frequently to see their kids and grandkids, their daughters and, and grandson. I, these are stellar human beings. Bishop Smith, after told me one time that for 40 years, he never bought a shirt, a tie, an a, underclothes. His wife did everything. And then about five years ago, she had a massive stroke and he personally attended to her like she had attended to him all these years. I mean, they were a couple that uh, would almost bring tears to my eyes when I got to see them. So they're precious people. David is, uh, uh, has spent weeks in, in Flint. They weren't able to have the normal celebrative um, funeral service that you'd have for someone who dies because of the pandemic. But those four sons, all of them in the ministry, all of them totally committed to the Lord, three sons that the Smiths had, uh, totally involved in church work to this day. It'll stay with you. That anointing, as we said, quoting John Powell, has eternal shelf life. And you will hear and feel that transcendent cry out of David's heart. And I hope you'll cry out in your distress to the Lord and know that God will hear you. In your presence, so oh Lord. There is fullness of joy in that holy place With you alone, hear the cry of our hearts As we look to you, Holy Spirit come and fill us up Let's show them together, we cry out Mike said, 
Not by might, oh God, or the power of man. By your spirit now, in your presence, we stand face to face with you. Call by your name. Holy Spirit, come. Fill us again. Somebody lift your hands in this place and say, Lord, we cry out. We cry out for more of your spirit. to hear all Roberts say there's no distance in prayer. I'm going to pray for you now. And there is no distance in it. There's an anointing, there's an appointing on this prayer to soothe your soul in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Son of the living God, as I've heard all my life, we pray, I reach out to you by faith that God, who is our father and our mother, would touch you, console you, supernaturally empty your heart of fear and fill it up with a God kind of faith, not just faith in God, but the faith of God for your own deliverance, for your own freedom, for your own liberty, for your own peace of mind, for the comfort of your soul in the Holy Ghost. We decree it by the name and nature of the Christ, and so it is. Amen. I love you so much. We'll see you again next time. Peace and blessing. In these uncertain times, go back to the foundation. Go back to what you know. Go back to Azusa. Join us every Friday night for music, ministry, and memories. As Bishop Carlton Pearson reminds the saints of the hope. That includes everybody. Loved by God, redeemed by Christ. All the power, all the anointing is here. Just as you remember it, 
and better than you've ever seen it before. Digitally remastered for the highest quality video and sound. Join the artists who became legends and the legends who became immortal. Azusa Revisited, Friday nights at 8.30 p.m. on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. Don't you dare miss it. The spirit of Azusa is hitting America.